highlight some of the outstanding things that, are, that have been happening. I'd like to start out with the principals and administration of the school district. An example of their response was we were given a heads up about the school dismissal with about two hours left in school on Friday the 13th of March. We recognized the importance of students having their Chromebooks at the middle school's level. We had about two hours to try to accomplish that task. So we called up the two principals and we said, you've got a couple hours, let's try to get some Chromebooks in the hands of students. Can you do that? And after a little bit of a sigh, uh, they said, okay, absolutely, we will get it done. They had to disassemble carts uh, that had the charging units on them. Uh, they had to log which computer went with which student and they had to figure all of that out, the process, and make it happen in only two hours. Uh, I received a notification from both, both schools uh, right before the end of the school day saying we got it done. So that's just an example of the kind of response that we're getting from our administration. Uh, they have been outstanding. Our main focus is to find ways to help students continue to learn, not to overburden them, not to create an opportunity that's going to cause them to fail, but really to give them an opportunity to succeed as we move forward. We're looking at this as two weeks, um, but with the possibility that it could go longer, and we want to make sure that we're building things in for students. So one of the challenges, obviously, is moving from this on-site education into this digital world and our teachers many of them have been using digital tools already in their classroom to handle some sort of digital work but that obviously wasn't the bulk of what they were doing one of the first things we did yesterday in fact was start some training for our teachers on across the board how to use specific digital tools we started with Google Classroom to make sure that everybody had a chance to understand how to use that and uh, just how to create an assignment, what does it look like, what happens when the students turn that in, what does that look like, how do you grade something like that, how do you give feedback to students. So I think a unique situation or I guess it's a challenge as well as an opportunity is looking at how we can still instruct, provide that positive feedback in a situation we've never had before. It's, it's real different when you don't have a student right in front of you and you can see what they're doing and you can help them immediately. We're trying to give you know, appropriate, uh, worthwhile, productive activities, but also the, the unique situation of being able to call a student every single day and be able to check in with them and say, do you have an instructional question? What are you, what's going well for you today? Where are you hung up? And also to be able to keep that relationship, that personal relationship that we've worked so hard to build and making sure that those students know we're still here for you, we care for you, we want you to be successful and let us help you. It just looks different, but we still feel the same about you.